Welcome back everyone. This is your Blue Devil News. I'm Logan. And I'm Zach. Graduation will be here before you know it. In fact, this year's graduation will be May 29th at Limscombe University. Your senior year fee of $75 is due March 5th. This includes your cap, gown, diploma, and cover, and any other costs with graduation. Go to the LHS website to pay. Speaking of graduation, host some members. Graduation stoles are on sale now. If you're interested in being recognized at graduation for your health science achievements, See Ms. Thompson to place your order. Students must either have completed three health science classes and be state and nationally HOSA affiliated or have completed a minimum of five health science classes by graduation. The cost is $25. Make checks payable to LHS HOSA. Orders will be taken through February 16th. Seniors, Tennessee Promise extended the FAFSA deadline to March 1st and they are also offering webinars for the eight hours of required community service due to COVID. Tennessee Achieves recognizes that completing in-person community service hours may be challenging. As an additional resource, we have recorded a virtual opportunity for you to complete community service hours. Go, in, go to tnachieves.org. Also, the Ball State Medical Terminology Test will be issued on April 20th. If you are interested in taking the test and have completed at least three medical classes, see Ms. Thompson for paperwork. Paperwork to test is due today. Any student interested in the work-based learning class should see Mrs. Major in room A807 ASAP. Have you ever wondered how to color your hair? This month's edition of Cosmos Corner will show you how.
If you're interested in taking cosmetology, be sure to register for their classes. Our Rocket League has joined the EGF, the Electronic Gaming Federation. It's a national league that ends up competing in Disney, if we get that far. Preseason starts February 8th, and the first game is on February 15th. We need a solid team of five to grow and a few alternatives for future proofing. Sign-up sheets are outside Mr. Holmes' room. COVID has struck again. Unfortunately, we will not be having a spring musical this year due to COVID cases and public health. However, we will be having the one acts, which are 30-minute plays written and directed by our Theater 4 students. Your books are still on sale for $90. Pre-orders have ended, so we are currently selling the remaining stock and do not anticipate having extras. We sold out last year and expect to do so this year. Orders can be placed using school cash or on yearbookforever.com. The deadline to order senior ads is quickly approaching and has also been extended until February 15th. To order, upload photos, and write messages, please go to yearbookforever.com. Due to COVID restrictions, the hardworking yearbook staff is having a hard time collecting content. Please send any pictures of this school year to lhssouvenir at gmail.com or upload to yearbookforever.com or email BDN and we will make sure the staff gets it. Congrats to our champion, Aiden Britt, who traveled to Alabama for a race and broke the school record for a mile. He ran it in 4 minutes and 20 seconds. Let's take a moment and pay tribute to this state champion. So what made you want to start running cross country? Um, I started running after like, you know, in fifth grade in gym class, I was the fastest in the mile. So I thought it was cool. So I joined my, my middle school team and just kind of went from there. Okay. Fifth grade, uh, do you enjoy it running? Yeah, after a good day, after a good run, it always feels good just, you know, having a good practice and knowing you made a difference. Uh, did you think you were gonna win when you started that race uh, at the state? Um, you know, you can kind of feel it. Uh, I definitely knew it wasn't going to be easy, and I didn't go out leading that whole race, so it was, it was definitely a question, but there's a certain point where you can just feel it that's going to happen. Hey, how did it feel crossing the finish line? Oh, man, I was just so happy to be done. Uh, yeah. That was the toughest race all year, so to pull it out and just be done with it and have a win was great. Is there anyone you want to thank for, like, or anyone that motivated you during this? Uh, yeah, definitely got to thank my coaches, you know, past and present, even Clay, who's not hearing more of an angle and Lakeman for working with me all these years and getting me to this point. So your brother was a cross-country runner. Uh, did he influence you in any way? Uh, he, he definitely made a difference. I think he was, I think he was a junior my first year running cross-country, and he was like, he was the best at the school, one of the best in the county. He was always up towards the front of the races, and it was really cool to watch. So watching him succeed definitely made me want to do it even more. Tomorrow night, our varsity basketball teams take on the Beach Buccaneers here at LHS. We are finally allowed back in the gym. The boys are currently on a six-game win streak, while the girls have won five in a row. You must buy your tickets online at GoFan.com prior to the game. The theme is blackout, and remember, students, masks are required and enforced for both games. Both the games will be live-streamed on BDN, but the boys' game will also air on live on MyTV30. So if you can't make it in person, you have a few other options. That's all the news that we have today, LHS. I'm Zach. And I'm Logan. And this has been news to you from the White Blue.